of the evening. It's David McNamara. I'm Tony Holgate, and I'm pleased to be joined by none other than Arthur and Dad. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Tony. And this promise, promises to be an absolute cracker. It's going to be David McNamara versus Rob Warren. Obviously, it did. Yeah. The, the wrong screen, the, the wrong graphic up there just for a split a second, but I'm sure that'll be sorted in an instant. Yeah, they've both played really well to get to the uh, semis. Uh, you've got to be playing well to get this far. Uh, both possess really good breaks. So I expect uh, a lot of uh, free flowing open pool in this match. Well, I was lucky enough to comment out on David McNamara's last two matches. Sean Shipperfield, a little bit of a. Sean, Sean was, certainly wasn't at the races where he norm, playing like he normally does. McNamara was very, very good, but he played incredibly well in his quarter final against Neil Rayburn. And I know Rob Warren, he beat you, <laughs> beat you in the, a six red shootout in the last 16 of this event. Yeah, that was like, uh, obviously, we just heard from. Um, Rob Warren in his pretty much interview there it was uh, probably one that he it didn't it didn't look like winning uh, one that definitely I was disappointed to lose but it's just the way it goes um, you know um, I've I've done two shootouts um, well I've done more than two shootouts I've lost two shootouts and they both been to Rob uh, I've posted two good times first up like I've done a 22 seconds I think he beat it that time with with 19 or something. Uh, and I did um, th uh, 23 yesterday and he, he beat it just over 22 seconds. So I knew the 23, because Rob's beaten a, a better time before, it might not be enough and obviously proved that way. Uh, but really, I sh shouldn't have gone to a 6 red, uh, if I'm being honest. I, yeah, it was one that got away. But so you feel a bit hard done, boy? No, um, it's, not, it's one of them, isn't it? Like I, I still had a chance to... To win 7-5, I had um, yeah, it was uh, under the 15 second shot, uh, shot clock, so it's never easy. Um, but yeah, I did have uh, one or two iffy rolls, I had a ball bounce out in the middle pocket. Right. Yeah, just, but yeah, I, I'm not one to dwell on what's happened, uh, I just try and move on to the next matches. As you get older, you don't, you don't look at... So you can do, yeah. our fans, so you can do. Whilst we've been talking, and Dave's... Uh, oh well. Yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, well said. It's, uh, it's fine margins with this game, especially when you're the world's top players. The black's gone in. We don't, of course, have any golden breaks. No, that will just. He won't even be at the table too, because that's the only ball he spotted. So it will go on its spot, and um, it will be David McNamara to have the first visit. Um, didn't look like it didn't hit them at all well uh, he broke really well against me but obviously he didn't flush him because the cue ball went straight to the side cushion well his nickname is Wacker yeah he didn't give him a good didn't whack there give them a whack did no. he no he, he actually breaks in a similar fashion to I, what I do on these tables like I have, a, I have different breaks for this table and, and the other the old supreme uh, winners uh, so I, I break with my hand on the table on these Oh, so you change then, so then, then, you yeah. put, then you put your hand on the cushion for the other ones? Yeah, a hand on the cushion on this table. You're right. Uh, sorry, a um, hand on the table on this table. and. Uh, so if you're on the outside, yeah, the table's on the arena, on the you cushion. change. Yeah, because the tables, the, the, the way this one's built, this is actually higher up than the Supreme Winners. Is it? Yeah. Uh, and and, and the, the actual frame, it, it's, it, I can get into a really comfortable position with my hand on the table. So I, I just like that break on the I have table. noticed a couple of players off and they've been playing when they've got their hands near the pockets and they're, yeah. not, they're not comfortable with their bridge. Yeah, so I always break from that, um, as we're looking at this screen, the top right corner. Okay. You can get your hand in nicely where the pocket is. Um, yeah, if you, if, yeah, if you ever watch me break on these tables, I, I, I usually break like that. Well, if you'd have won that six red shootout, we could have been watching you play in this match. Well, I would have had to beat Declan. That well, yeah, of course. Wouldn't have been an easy game. No. Uh, you can never. I mean, everything. I always. I'm a firm believe, believer of everything happens for a reason. So it's, it's happened the way it was meant to happen. Yep. I agree. So th this is a little tricky shot. He needs to. Uh, yeah, he needed a little flick on the red there, but he just didn't catch enough of it. 
Well, he's not got much left here. I mean, he can play the double back into the left-hand centre, but then the cue ball's going to be... Well, it's going to be no man's land unless you get it no. behind the, the red at the bottom of the table and come up and have the yellow into the bottom right corner, but I just don't fancy this at all. Well, this is what I mean about Dave. Like he'll, he'll we never even thought of that corner back double. I, d I didn't think it went because of the, no. because of the red was there. But like even even now, this is not an easy. He kind of needs to hope the cue ball pushes on after hitting the red. So you'll have to hit this a bit hard. Will almost bounce. Yeah. I shouldn't go in, but it will. Wow! What a finish this is going to be from David McNamara. Yeah. He's pulled a rabbit out of a hat there, isn't he? Yeah, he has, yeah. But it, I mean, like I said, after the first frame, he's capable of this. Just when he... He's one of them players where you feel like he's, he's got himself in trouble, but he'll just pull out something crazy and then you're like, you know, slumped back in your seat again. You think, oh, I thought I was going to come back to the table. But That's right. So it's, you've got to constantly just m make sure, you, you know, you're con really big. So if he, if he repeats that, it could be 3-0 before... He's, he's actually come across them slightly. Um, looks like it's going to be a dry one. So this is. Well, he does lead two 0 of course. Yeah. So we're going to have uh, a chance to see Rob for the first time in this match. Let's see if he can respond with a finish of his own. Well, I want to let David McNamara know he's here, and it's not just going to be a one-man show. Yeah, that's it. It's, I think this is his, uh, the hardest shot. Oh, he's missed that. Well, that, if you got that, look where the yellows were. They were that was the hardest shot in the in the actual visit. So this is going to be three uh, three nil now. I can't see Dave missing these yellows. So these yellows connect really well. He's just going to screw back, put the two yellows in the left middle, and then take care of the three. Uh, in the uh, in the corner pockets. That's fine. I think the bottom yellow goes. And this is a disaster for Rob Wall. I mean, to, to start a semi-final, not really. Well, he's missed one ball. Yeah, I didn't expect him to miss that ball. No, though. I didn't. He, you know, it was it was like into a slight blind pocket, but. Rob's, you know, such a good potter. He's from a snooker background. Yeah. Honestly, didn't expect him to miss that. But you've been all day. have been preparing for this, yeah. thinking about what you know, and you, you probably play in your head what's going to happen if I get these chances. I'm going to do this and this yeah. that, and the other. Then, then this happens. But what what you can't you can prepare that way. But what you can't prepare is when you get your first chance. So he's got his chance at two 0 down. So he can't replicate that pressure that he's under. So it's. No, that's very true. Okay, so maybe putting both there, but he's still okay. So just needs to screw this back out. Well, we've barely played eight minutes, and it could be three nil to David McNamara if he completes this finish, which he's going to do. Yeah, this was the easiest of the three finishes, so I, I fully expected him to clear them up. Well, he's a very confident man. There, just goes. That, that is definitely one of the. Worst breaks he's hit probably this weekend. See, that's a better break, but it's the ball. There's a match earlier in this tournament where uh, Jimmy Carney beat Chris Mellon, and Jimmy Carney couldn't miss a ball, and then his next round he just couldn't string three balls together yeah. to, to a certain extent. It's amazing. Again, man, look at the Reds now. I can't, I mean, I feel like this is it's this shot. As long as he gets on another red, this frame's done too. So you're a strong believer in fate. Well, I mean, it's just not. It's, it's at the moment. This is just not Rob's day, is it? No, th this is uh, looking ominous for Rob now. You don't mind a dry break if all the balls have gone messy and there's no yeah, easy finishes. But these, these are, you know. Yeah, that's a good dry break. I don't mind them at all. No. I think yeah, I'd rather my opponent have first bash at these, and especially someone like Dave, and he, he, you know, very rarely turns anything down. So when you get a, like an ugly break or ugly and layout. And the thing is, Arf, and he's got the pace of the table because he's been there so yeah, long. Yeah, exactly. And he's he's bouncing. He's feeling good about his game. That's under hit a little bit. 
so he might have to ch change his route. Yeah, but because these are he could have afforded a hit that hard, yeah, too hard if you like. He's, that, he's yeah. back up in the middle of the table. Yeah, if you if you were going to err on one side, you 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 were going to hit that much harder. But he's still fine. Yeah, I wouldn't be taking this now. You can recover the situation by putting the 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 three reds in the middles. You can. Y you can leave like a, a 45 degree angle on this one in the corner and just leave the cue ball on the side cushion. It's, it's a massive target, you can't I really snook it. So. I think he's taking your advice off. I mean, was, there was no need though, you're right, because he'd have the cue ball sailing up towards those yellows up there and you yeah. could, you're running a risk of snooking yourself exactly. and all of that. Yeah, just play the percentages. He uh, could have done with playing that uh, a little bit harder too. He's landed like a twitch in between. He might have to roll this through and maybe play the other one into the. Is this screwing back? Okay, that'll work. Yeah, he's got a little angle now. Yeah. Just that's where he wants to be, where he's just put his tip. Yeah, what's going for him here now? Even if he like leaves himself a little angle where he's a bit low, he's got that yellow as a good buffer. He can just. Like that. That there, he can just, just use the yellow now. As, a well, as long as he doesn't hit this full ball and knock it in front of the black. He'll contact this half ball and, and the cue ball will drift to the right hand side. Played it well. Yeah. Yeah, he's looking uh, re really good in this match now and uh, he's got that next break too. Oh dear. This is well, exactly what he needed. Yeah, this is. Rob, Rob, that is. Yeah, this is must win frame now for Rob Ward. He needs to get his hand on the table, pot a few balls and just get the feel of this semi final. Yeah, so with the cue ball flying off, he's, he'll have ball in hand, so... And at first glance, the yellows look pretty open. I expect him to take yellows and expect him to uh, clear them up too. Yellow balls but when he's been sat there for so long and not really had a go, you know, and you've come to the table and you first real feel of this semi-final arena and you're already 4-0 down, it's a, you know... Yeah, there is always that added pressure because yeah, you're fighting the scoreline too. But if you if you want to finish to try and get back in a match, it's it's this finish. Like you know, he's got it's, it's just literally connect the dots. Just make sure you keep on landing on a pot, landing on a pot, because they all connect nicely. I feel like this this is probably his trickier shot. You just make sure you come down nicely for one of these yellows, probably. Yeah, that one. That's the one I looked at. Now this, this, these are all done now, I think. Yeah, that I would have been hitting that a little bit harder because you you needed to be straight on one of these two yellows. Uh, so now. Might have put the curse on him. Yeah, he's, got, he's got a little bit of work to do now. He had to hit that harder to land straight on one of them two yellows into the corners. He certainly made it more awkward. Yeah, and he's, he, he could be running into the other yellow. That's why he's screwing back in. So this is a tricky the ball. He didn't want that on the cushion either. Tell you what, like, this this will take some good cueing. These are one of the toughest shots you can have on any table, which is probably why he's not even playing it. He's playing this purely because the bags on these tables, they play a little bit kinder down the rail. You'd never play this on a Supreme winner. But he still missed it. He pulled his cue a little bit there as he yeah. struck it. See, Rob, the right shot to play, I mean, I don't know if he could have got position on the other yellow. That's probably why he's maybe taking the one down the rail. Um, yeah, it was a, it was the positional shot where he's not hit it hard enough. And he left himself an iffy angle. And again, like all these, this is probably Rob's one of Rob's trickier finishes. But the way he's playing, he's feeling good about his game. I fully expect him to mop these up. Well, David there, quite rightly using his extension just to settle himself before he played that pop. Yeah. You know, that's using a bit of experience there. Well, he knows how big this. I know he's got a 4-0 lead, but he, he can go 5-0 up, but he's also punishing another uh, another mistake from his opponent. So it's like a psychological battle, isn't it? You keep punishing those mistakes, your opponent keeps feeling even worse and worse. So he wants to keep him there. Well, they're all little stepping stones towards a place in the final. 
And if you can get this finish, it'll only be two frames away from doing just that. Yeah, I think he, I feel like he's done the hard work here now. Maybe just roll this through gently. We've not even been playing 15 minutes, half on. I know. It's, I mean, I did say the way these two break, it'll probably be an open match. Um, I don't expect it to be this open, this quick. No. Which way do you go here? Do you go the top red or bottom red? Um, I, I'm going uh, the top red purely because the black goes in two pockets. So it doesn't matter what angle you leave yourself, you can either punch it across or if it's dead straight, you can just drop it in. So this is definitely the right way. Like, I, I don't know why he's like worrying about the angle there. Like, he can just punch this across now, he goes into both bags. That's the, that's the whole reason why you've taken that red on, because you take the pressure off the, position, the next positional shot. That's pretty good. Yeah. Clear path for the black into the top right-hand corner. Yeah, I can't see him missing this. This is uh, pretty routine for someone of Dave's quality. And in she goes. And he gave and it the big one too. There's a bit of a fist pump there, Arthur. Yeah. yeah, that's if he like keeps winning his own breaks. I mean, these tournaments are so hard to just to win a match at these events and to get all the way to a semi-final and then sort of have this happen. Now, is that the sort of break he was, yeah. he was doing against you? Yeah, he, I, mean, look, I mean, look at this layout now. This is, we keep saying he needs to win this frame. He, he, he cannot lose this frame now. 6-0 is, I think, way too much to come back from. Whilst, he's, whilst he keeps Dave away from the hill for as long as possible, he's still got to win two frames. When he's just going to be one frame away, I think that's too big a mountain to climb. So has to be careful that red does follow right over the pocket too. Yeah, that's good. I think that, that, that was it uh, in terms of this frame. Can't see uh, anything else going wrong. These are all uh, pretty simple now, just three, four rolling shots. I just want to get a frame on the board now. Yeah. I mean, you know, you don't want that big fat zero sat there. Mm. I see, yeah, maybe make the scoreline a bit respectable. But is, Dave will, um, Rob will know that, you know, Dave's won five on the bounce. I can equally do five on the bounce too. I like his glittery shoes. Yeah, I noticed them when I played him. Yeah. Puts mine to shame. Like the Blackpool Illuminations <laughs> on his shoes. Yeah, they, they, they are quite popular. Now. I've seen a few people wearing them. You're not going to get me wearing them, Arthur. No, I don't. I'm not. I'm not a loud person. They're in a pair sense. of shorts. <laughs> they just to take his mind off it. Yeah. Uh, we, I think all players kind of do that. Just whilst they're waiting around, just to see how uh, the other well, matches you just, are going. You don't want to be just staring at the balls. Yeah, because you, you kind of need like a little distraction. So that's that's a dry break that Rob wanted. It didn't look like the best of layouts, but he'll be happy to just have the first visit. Actually, the yellows don't look too bad there. They look very nice indeed. Yeah, date. yeah, I, didn't, I thought that yellow was tied up next to the red, but... Like, looking at that angle, you think thinking it looks a bit tied up, but... We saw it from the other angle, it goes, goes in cool totally. If there's any doubt if that yellow went, that's just been yeah, he had raised. Yeah, perfect angle, didn't he? Yeah, just make sure you give yourself a nice angle just to get the cue ball out. And, uh, yeah, this is looking good for 5-2 uh, now. And he's got the break next, if he can break and finish. You know, we, so we, have, we have a match again. Things for sure, Tony. There won't be a six red shooter in this match. No chance. <laughs> no chance. These guys are not holding, uh, hanging around, are they? No, nope. there it goes. That's two in a row for Rob Warren. Frame 
not sure what uh, Rob's uh, T-shirt is about though, or po polo shirt. Wonder what those colours represent. It's like some kind of watery an aquarium. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that break has just gone horribly wrong. It just went straight into the middle. Disaster. And it looks yeah, like that's, that's a bad break there from Rob Wall. Yeah, that's like the cardinal sin for any top player for for you to go straight enough into the middle. A big no no. Look at these roads. Yeah, he's got to be taking these. Yeah. I mean, this is a golden opportunity just to get one away now. Just has to make sure that I don't think the one next to the black is that. Does that go into the right corner? Yeah, it looks like it does. Yeah, that's where he's put the uh, put his cue there. He's going to play on that next. Yeah, perfect. Well, he want to take both these reds here that are just on the yeah next to the black, and then he'll stop the cue ball dead and just swing the cue ball around for the one in the middle next. Cushions. So we get round. Even though he's left himself hampered, it, it should be no. Well, he's not going to be awkward queuing on the one going the rail, is he? No. So he just he just drop this in and just screw it back. Yeah, this is looking like six two now. So nice little angle as well, because it just brings it away from the cushion a bit as well. I know it's yeah, it shouldn't matter anyway, but it just. It's Perfect. This for 6 2. 6 2, and he's on the hill. So. Big break coming for Dave. He'll be wanting a chance pretty early. He's got himself on the hill. Looks like another dry break, though. But this one looks a little bit messy, so it might not be one that he is too disappointed with. He didn't hit that break as well as he has been doing. Kind of come across it a little bit, which is why the balls often split nicely. Yeah, they, they, these a little bit horrible, aren't they? These. Nice shot. Easy finish, but the first shot was was the one that really opened it up. Still got a little, little bit of work to do. Oh, he's just going to hang on in there. That's all he can do. Yeah, just play a little stop shot here now. Um, just just needs to be careful. Like the stop shots are quite difficult on this re really reactive cloth because you end up pulling the cue ball back because the, the, the cue ball is obviously small, as we all know. And the cloth is so grippy. Yeah, he's played that around. okay. Yeah. He's, he's landed good there, so he's just going to put this and leave himself straightish. So he can sc screw back for the black. He's going to have a black from the cushion, though. He c he's left himself an angle where he can't get the cue ball back out properly. He's come a bit further than he'd like there. Yeah. I still. Fancy him to put this. Yeah, he's not going to do anything with the cue ball because there's no danger of any in offs anywhere. So no. let's just roll this in. And it's in. Yeah, it's into the pocket. And he's hanging around, is Rob Warren. Another good break, great split. And oh, he's potted. Th oh, that's fine. He's potted quite a few balls there now. There's all sorts gone in. I think the black might be put blocking the path now for the ball that was over the right middle because it's going to get spotted. I don't know if he's got a, an easy starter after that. At first glance, I'm just waiting for the replay to finish. He could have done with that yellow stain over that bag yeah. there, couldn't he? <coughs> Does that yellow go? Well, he probably wouldn't want to take red, really, do you? Can you he, can he see a red to put? Ah. 
That's so different, isn't it? If that yellow stays there yeah. over that bag, it, it's a real chance. And now, like you said, Arfan, it's, I don't it's think a it's difficult find just any old pot. I don't think he's got a pot on. He's going to have to try and double this red, I think, yeah. into the corner. That, that, I mean, that, that, that's the match there, isn't it, for him? Because he knows that. Oh, does it, yeah, he either goes for a really thin snick into the left middle, which is into a blind pocket. But there's, but no, you, there's no point in playing a containing shot, no. is there? There's nothing there. No. No. Well, the first chance for David McNamara Do you know, to cross the finish line. It's not the worst result in the world because he's not left reds for for Rob to, uh, for Dave too. So Rob's um, keep getting the names mixed up. Dave's gonna be forced to take yellows, and they're definitely the trickier of the two set of balls. Yeah, that's that was Rob's only saving grace when it was where he left. Yeah, David. I suppose he can't really. Uh, uh, be too harsh on no. Rob there because he had a bad roll off the break that he didn't leave himself a pot. Well, he struck that nicely down that rail. Yeah, maybe too nicely because he's going to be a bit hampered with this one, and he can't really do much with the cue ball. He, he no. might not have a, sh might not be able to get on another pot if he pots this. So he might have to change. Don't know if he, don't know if he's got any other easy pot on. Can't really get onto his next yellow from Just this. Just trying to see, what does he leave if he misses this? This is the thing. That's true, actually, it's a good point. He's played it well, hasn't he? Very well, indeed. But he wasn't leaving an awful lot, was he? No. So I think that, and of course, when you've got a ball like that, you know it's a tough pot, but just in the back of your mind, think, well, if I do miss it, I'm not really. Yeah. You know, it just takes the pressure off a little bit, doesn't it? It does. The yeah. edge yeah. takes the edge off it. Definitely, yeah. Because it's more, it's beco it becomes like a. One of them uh, shot to nothings. What's he done with the cue ball? Wow, I don't think well. he. I don't think he. His point is so thin. He's actually, you know, I, I only thought he could hold that for the yellow. Or maybe he couldn't. There was too much angle there. But his point is so thin, which is why the cue ball's gone into the opposite corner. Lifeline. Well, he could see the finish line in front of him. Well, yeah, like we said, um, with Rob uh, not leaving the easier reds on, you know, he still had a bit of work to do, uh, Deej, in that finish. And so it proved to be the case. Looking like 6-4 uh, now. Indeed. Rob Wall now looking to see... What's this cue ball to the left of the blue spot sort of thing, so he can just get through to that red that's close to the yellow. And what's, what's he just so he can just stop the white dead? That looks pretty good. Yeah, he's just going to screw it back a little bit. Yeah, and he just dropped that in and dropped the black in the mid middle pocket. But well, there's bags of room there, Arfan. Yeah. Yeah, black into the right centre. Well, he's still battling. He's yeah. still there. That's all he can do. He, uh, all he can do is keep taking the chances. That come as well. Also, the scoreline's respectable now as well. When you get, you know, you've got over half the frames on your side now. Yeah. So big break uh, in the context of the match. Is it done well? Is it done really good? What? What's he got left? He's got a yellow over to the other side. Is he on a red as well? I'm not sure. Yeah, if you can see a red, I think he'll, he'll fancy reds because I think the. The red that's gone over the top. Good cue ball he had there, didn't he? Yeah. Pulled it straight in a straight line back to the top rail. Yeah, good control of, of the cue ball there. I don't know if he can well, The red over the middle here, you can just pop that in. And the red does go past that yellow, I think, at the top. Yeah, it, it, it'll definitely go in off the yellow. Now, this so is this a real is a chance. Great chance now. Yeah, it is. He lost, needs to make sure that he uh, moves the uh, red next to the black pretty. Yeah. Because that'll clear the way from the black. You'd be happy with this layout to try and get into a final, would you? Yeah, hundred percent. I think, he's, I think the the route I'm looking at is put this, put the one just below the black, uh, and then the one over the uh, left corner. You need to be t trying to play the one over the top right corner, maybe like your penultimate ball. You don't really want to be playing position on that to get on the black. I would try and leave the one in one of the balls in the middle. 
That's interesting. He hasn't cleared the. I don't know why he's left that one down the rail. Because uh, that's probably his hardest ball to get on the black. So I would have been clearing that. He might have to now. Okay, so he's he's going to be back to the situation I would have fancied myself to be in. So he's yeah. going to play on the one that's over the right corner and leave himself straight in on the one in the middle. He'll be getting excited now, won't he? Because he can yeah. see the finishing line now. Well, this is the shot now. This is the shot. Just has to play a cushion first into the yellow and screw. Yeah, he needs to make sure he screws the cue ball back just just below um, the bulk line. In it goes. Yeah. Looks like he's got a bit of angle there, but he's walking around confidently. Just this positional shot, and he's played it pretty good. This replacing the final. Oh, that shouldn't go in. Oh, it's wiped his feet. And just look at his reaction there, David McNamara.